guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Crisis on Infinite Earths, we're going to be talking about Superman and some of the new news and the new photos that have specifically been coming out. Sorry that the microphone quality may be a little bit worse in today's video, I don't have my normal mic, I'm in a different location right now, so I'll be back to normal tomorrow. But, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So this segment's going to be added in after, because I'm actually a day after when I recorded this video about Superman, we'll go on to that in a minute, but we got some official news as of right now that Lila Michaels, who is obviously on Arrow, she is going to be playing a different role, well obviously not Lila Michaels, the actor who plays her, but there is going to be a different version of Lila Michaels and she's going to be playing a key role that has been now confirmed. She's going to be playing Harbinger. And I've been theorizing about this for a long time because Lila Michaels in the comics is Harbinger. Harbinger's a massive thing in Crisis, so it makes sense. And we've got our first look at her and it's basically just her with her superhero suit. Like her superhero suit's pretty cool. Like I will say later in this video, I'm not a big fan of that background they use with Brandon Ralph as well. The space background, I don't think it looks very good, but her suit looks pretty cool. I'm very excited about this because I really like Harbinger and the role she plays in Crisis, and it's very exciting that we're sort of following the comics. Although I have to say, I think there's too many characters. Like, there is way too many. Surely some of them are just going to be in like three scenes or like one scene or something like that. But anyway, so... That's my talk about Harbinger. Are you excited? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and get into this video and continue where this video should have started. Okay, so I'm a bit behind on this, but it also sort of coincides with me recording this on this day because they released a new photo of Brandon Ralph as Superman with Tyler Hoechlin. So we've had these behind the scenes photos and these teasers for Superman which we'll talk about in a minute but today they released this one and it is amazing I love this they're in the Daily Planet they're in the newsroom and this is in crisis because they started shooting crisis about maybe like three or four days ago and from right now and this is amazing we've got Tyler Hoechlin on set he's fully suited up as his normal Superman suit and he's there playing you know his normal self from earth 38 and then we have brandon ralph superman who obviously you know brandon ralph made the 2004 superman film i'm not a big fan of superman returns if i'm honest but i love brandon ralph and this is super exciting because he's not playing that version he's playing the kingdom come version of superman and it very much so falls in line with, you know, Crisis, because in Crisis, there's actually an older version of Superman, and as you can see from this photo, they've greyed his hair up, they've done the classic Superman, you know, his swirly bit in his hair, I love that, it looks so cool, but also they greyed his hair up a bit, well, I'm not sure if it's, like, taken away dye or something, but I'm pretty sure Brandon doesn't have, like, a shit ton of grey hairs now, because he's not that old, so, yeah. So they grade his hair up, and it's very much in line with that, with Crisis, but it's a Kingdom Come version of Superman, and his suit looks really cool, especially in this real photo. We'll talk about the other looks at his suit, which I think this looks the best because it's a real photo, and I'm a big fan of it. I think it looks really good right here. Okay, so let's move on to talk about the other photos of him that were released the other day. So we've got this first one right here, and this first one is a strange one. It's him in the Superman position. You get to see his costume. Like I said, I really like his costume. His costume looks great. I love the fact that he's got, you know, it's a very light blue, and I really like the logo. The pants are funny. Like, it's really weird, and it's really cool, though, at the same time. You've got the normal cape. However, this is weird because they photoshopped it with just like a galaxy behind him and it looks like he's just been slap bang like placed on it and it's a bit weird. I I'm not a fan of the design of this poster. I'm not sure. It's more of like a concept. But like he looks sick, but then the background just is a bit strange and I'm not a fan of that. But apart from that, like if you go on to the next one, this is awesome. Like this is fucking awesome. This is amazing, this one. 
where you get to see him in the shadow and this is what Brandon actually posted to his Instagram story. I'm not sure if it's an actual photo. It kind of does, but it could be a concept piece of art. However, either way, it looks absolutely awesome. I think this is really what they, you know, everyone should have been focusing on. I feel like I saw the other one more and I was just like, eh, not so sure about the background, but his suit looks sick. And then we got this one right here. Don't know if it's a photo or not. I mean, it kind of looks like a photo, but it kind of looks like, oh, maybe they've just pasted him on. But you get to see his full look at his Superman suit. And damn, he looks cool. And also, if you've seen Brandon's Instagram, like, he's been fucking bulking up at the gym. And that dude is fucking dench. I didn't realize how dench he was. But anyway, so this is, like, full on him. And he looks awesome in the suit. I think the suit really, really suits him and it just gets me so excited also recently they've been releasing some photos and it was of you know the different cast members actually they released a photo the other day which was tom welling and you know who we have on supergirl who plays allura erica durant coming back as lois and clark and that's super exciting but then they released another photo and it was a behind the scenes look at both erica durant and also Tyler Hoechlin was there as well, like in between them and obviously Tom Welling's playing a Smallville version of Clark and it was just so awesome to see them like all in the same photo. Although I haven't watched Smallville like I've told many of you guys before, it's just super exciting. We've got all these different versions of Superman, like I'm like nearly 100% sure that Brandon's Kingdom Come version of himself is going to die in the crossover. But I think Tom Welling may survive, so yeah. I'm not sure how they're going to link it all together, but it's so, so exciting to see this all come together. But especially for me, this photo right here that we talked about at the start, at the Daily Planet, in Crisis, we've got Brandon and also Tyler. I love Tyler. He is easily one of my favourite Superman actors ever to play the character. And just seeing them like this, like... Oh man, it's super exciting. So let me know in the comments down below how excited are you to see all these different versions of Superman. Which one are you most excited for? I think I'm most excited to see these two specifically together, that being Brandon and Tyler. Because man, Brandon looks sick in that suit. And also I love the fact he's got the classic Superman hair. And the fact that it's all greyed up reminds me of Crisis. And yeah, he's gonna die. Like, for sure. Okay, so then they've been releasing some behind the scenes photos whilst they've been shooting Crisis in the past few days and we got some really interesting photos that have actually revealed quite a lot of different things. So one photo which was a group photo with all these different characters from Legends, The Flash and Arrow and so we have Grant here, we have Constantine obviously played by Matt Ryan, the one, the only Matt Ryan. Then we have Jonah Hex, I forgot the actor's name, sorry about that. Also Casey Lotz and Catherine McNamara. And this confirms, number one, we got Jonah Hex in the crossover. We got that news a while ago, but he's there and he's sharing scenes at least with all of these different characters. And it also confirms that Arrow's future cast members are going to be in the crossover, which is very, very interesting because how are they going to link that in? Like, how are they going to get back to present time? Are they going to come back or is Barry going to get them? Or is it going to be some other way? Like maybe the monitor brings them back? I don't know. But obviously they're in the future and this is about the multiverse. So I'm hoping with this we get the return of the Legion of Superheroes because that would go down the same logic. But obviously these guys in Arrow's future are a bit more relevant right now because the Legion hasn't you know, really been around apart from Brainiac since season three of Supergirl, so I wouldn't like expect it, but I think that's that gives me a little bit of hope, right? And also Jonah Hex is way back in time, so he's obviously been slotted in to this time period to fight in crisis. And I think it's just super interesting this whole group range. Like it's such a weird group range. Seeing all these different people from different time periods, like having Barry there and I think Barry's sort of the thing that's going to connect them all. And I'm just super excited, especially to see Constantine in the crossover. Like, that man deserves to be in the crossover. Very exciting stuff. Also, additionally, Canada Grass was actually around the set when they were filming some scenes for Crisis the other day. And he said that Lex was there. 
the future version of Batman and who are they being played by? They're playing by John Cryer who played Lex on Supergirl last season. He was so freaking good. Very exciting to see that he's around and seeing that he, you know, comes back. Very, very exciting stuff. But also, Kevin Conroy was on set. Kevin fucking Conroy. Batman the Animated Series. All the Batman voices, Mask of the Phantasm. This guy is my favourite. I freaking love him. He was at Comic Con. He was there. He was super cool. I loved getting to see him in real life. And I'm just so excited to see what version of Batman or what version of Bruce Wayne he's going to be playing. We know he's playing a future version of himself, a bit like Batman Beyond. But don't know what capacity he's going to play. But either way, I'm so freaking excited to see him there. And it's very exciting to me that he's been on set and, you know, they are shooting stuff right now. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos later this year. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.